Hello service people, Enrico here. This is a uh, different type of video because I want to start from a comment I received on one of my latest videos. And this guy asked me, can you help me with these questions? This was asked during an AWS interview. Create an API gateway which contains an endpoint to upload JPEG image to S3 buckets. The image should be stored in an S3 bucket using the file name parameter as the S3 object key. Assume that the size of the image uploaded is always less than four megabytes. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it in the AWS console. As always, if you like these videos, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and to hit the like button. So let's start from the comment again and let's break down the problem in uh, two bullet points. The interviewer is asking to create an API gateway that contains an endpoint to upload JPEG images to S3 buckets, to an S3 bucket, sorry. The image should be stored in S3 bucket using the file name. So here we have a parameter as the object key, because you know, every time you save an object into an S3 bucket, it has a name, that name is called object key. Assume that the size of the image uploaded is always less than four megabytes. This is very important for the uh, execution of the problem. So I came up with two solutions and now I'm going to explain you both of them and why I'm going to choose the second one. So the first one is, of course, we're going to create an API gateway with an endpoint with a put uh, HTTP method who's backed by an AWS Lambda who's going to get the file and upload it to S3. So Lambda receiving the file through the API gateway body and then Lambda is going to take care and upload it to the S3 bucket. The other way is to directly use the API gateway as the integration, we use the S3 bucket. It is possible because you can use an S3 bucket as the integration method for the API gateway. One thing to consider is that the problem statement says that the object, the image actually, is always less than four megabit, megabytes. Sorry. So uh, we have to remember that the uh, size limit of the API gateway is 10 megabytes. So in this case, we are okay to use API Gateway in front of the endpoint. Since the problem just says use the file name parameter has the object key and doesn't doesn't need any you know object uh, modification like resizing the image or changing the extension, changing the name, any other you know uh, modification in terms of uh, I upload an image and I want to save it in another way. Let's say changing the image to PDF, it doesn't, it doesn't need any modification. We can omit the AWS Lambda because uh, putting the AWS Lambda in between the API gateway and bucket just adds latency and cost. So in this case, I'm gonna choose this solution and I'm gonna show you how to create the API gateway, IAM roles and policies and link the API gateway to an S3 bucket. Okay, let's go on the uh, AWS console. Here I am on the IAM role, sorry, yeah, on the IAM menu, IAM roles here. And I'm gonna create a role for this example. So I'm gonna call it, uh, so here I have to select which service I need to uh, use with this role is going to be API gateway. It's here. Next permission. I'm going to add the permission uh, after since I'm going to create a policy for this example. So I'm going to call it API gateway sample one. And here is like hello API gateway to push uh, objects into an S3 bucket as a description. And I'm going to create a role next step is to create a policy and then attach the policy to the role so we have created the, the role let's create a policy for the policy we need to be able to upload objects inside an s3 bucket so here i'm going to select s3 here i'm going to choose just the put object action which is this one here I need to select the S3 bucket. So before doing that, I have already created the S3 bucket and it's called Enrico Origin Edge 1, which I use in another video. Anyway, you can add the uh, S3 bucket here. So bucket name and object name any. So this policy lets you uh, upload, put objects inside this uh, bucket. Let's create the policy. Next review, let's call it API gateway to S3 Enrico Edge and create the policy. 
once the policy has been created, we just need to attach a role, which is going to be uh, this one. So here, action attach. And here I have to search for my role. Okay, that's it. And now we have attached the policy to the role that, that we have just created. So let's go again to the roles and we're going to just select the role here because we're going to need the on later when we create the API gateway. Now that we have the policy and the role, let's go on the uh, AWS console again and create the API gateway. So this is the API gateway menu. We're going to create a new API. Here we select REST API and click the build button. We need to set a name for the API. I'm going to call it like my API example, my API gateway example. And I'm going to select uh, regional as the endpoint type and click create API. So here we have the um, resources. We had only have the root uh, path now. We have to create two new resources, one to specify the bucket where we want to save the image and wants to specify the file name that we're going to use to save the image to S3. So let's create the first resource here and we're going to call it like bucket. And here we're going to use the uh, curly braces in order to be able to use this bucket as a parameter when we use the uh, endpoint. So we, I click create resources and I'm going to do the same thing under this one. So create resources slash, I'm going to call it file name. And here is going to be uh, again with the curly braces file name and create resources. So now we have specified an API was going to be slash bucket slash file name. Next thing we have to do is to create the actual HTTP method. So for this use case, since we have to upload an image to an S3 bucket, I'm going to use the put method. So here I create method, select put here, create the method, and here I have to choose the integration type. In our case, we, not, we decided to not use the Lambda function. So let's go back quickly on the um, architecture. I'm going to just use the S3 bucket directly. So here I have to choose AWS services region of the bucket in my case is us2 which is london and here i have to search for the simple storage service which is s3 subdomain can be empty http method can is put as we said before and here we have to use the use path override in this way we're going to use the path override to be able to specify the bucket name and the file name as i said before so here i'm going to use bucket slash key which is the key of the object save into the s3 bucket here i have to specify the execution role so it's the role that api gateway is going to assume when you hit the endpoint and i'm going to copy the arn from the role we have just created let me copy the arn as well and here i'm going to click save the next step is to tell the api so using the integration request to use the path parameters as the bucket and the uh, object key so i'll go here url path parameter I'm going to add a path, which is going to be here. Name is going to be bucket. And here you have to use the method path, uh, method request path bucket, which is it refers to this one. And the next one is key. So here I'm going to use the key and it's going to be method request path by name. In this way, the uh, API gateway knows that it has to use the bucket key values from the path of the URL of the endpoint basically so let's go back and the only thing that we are missing is to tell api gateway that this is like a binary request which means the body is going to be a binary media types so you go on the settings here you choose binary media types and you can decide to add uh, you can decide to allow basically any media types by doing like this but in this case since we have been asked to use the image jpeg i'm going to just specify image jpeg type and click save changes okay so we have done all the configuration needed and the last step is to actually deploy the api because now it's not live yet so we select here actions and we're gonna choose deploy api and we have to create a new stage in this case you can just call it dev and click deploy once you've deployed the api you should see an invoke url so you copy the url and i'll be using a postman as the api client the method is a put and then here i have to specify a slash the bucket name that i'm using so it's this one slash the file name 
I'm gonna call it Enrico dash example dot jpeg. The next thing we have to do is to tell Postman to use a binary type. So he's here, select file, and I'm gonna use the same image as always, the doge. So I have everything configured here. I'm gonna click send. And we got a one, which means something has happened and should be successful. So now if I refresh the bucket, I should see the image uploaded. Yes. So it's, as you can see, it's been just uploaded. It's 920, it's 920 as well here. And that's it. All right, guys, this is all from this uh, video. Hope it was useful. I hope it's going to help you with your AWS interviews or just, you know, to understand which services you can integrate with API Gateway. Let me know if you have any other questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks again for watching. Cheers.